What's up guys? Mark here. Right now it's December. It's the Christmas season. Everyone's got their lights up. The store's got the Christmas music going on. And yeah, it's one of the best times of the year. But today I'm pretty hungry and I'm in the mood for some fish. So I'm gonna head to the local Asian market and see if I can find something to chef up for y'all today. All right, come on. I want to get the two bass, big one. Two. No queen. Thank you. Yo, we're back at the crib. Today, this is what we got. Large mouth bass. All right, let's go. All right, today this is what we're cooking. Large mouth bass. Today we got two large mouth bass, some pretty big ones. It's about mm, 15 and a half inches. And then this one's about 14 and a half. See, we got some pretty big bass. Large mouth bass are a super popular fish in America. They're mostly known for sport fishing. So many people actually only fish for them. They're only interested in catching these fish, the large mouth bass. Also, many people don't know that you can eat bass. But yeah, you could definitely eat bass. They're actually known to be really good. So today we're gonna try them out. They're a popular food fish in China, where it's usually farm raised. It's one of the largest freshwater fish farming industries with an annual 150,000 tons production. And there it's called the Californian bass. And yet, because it's so common in China, that's why you often see them at the Chinese markets here in America. It's one of the top predatory fish in freshwater. Bass will pretty much eat anything, and like fish, obviously, but they'll also eat like snakes, ducks, birds, frogs, anything. Like anything, they'll eat pretty much anything. That guy's solid. Uh, yeah, he is, he, he's probably the biggest one. Oh my God, holy crap. Oh, oh my gosh. They're actually a part of the sunfish family. So they're in the same family with bluegill and like crappie and fish like that. They're actually an invasive species in many countries. Japan being one of them. In some places they have like trash bins where you'll throw them away because you can't, you can't put them back. Channel catfish are also invasive and you're not supposed to put them back as well. Now there's two main bass that everyone knows, the largemouth bass and the smallmouth bass. The largemouth bass have vertical stripes. You can't really tell after after they die, the, the pigment of them changes a little bit. But when they're alive, you, they have those horizontal stripes and the smallmouth have the vertical stripes. But today with these bass, we're gonna make some nanbanzuke. It's a dish where you fry the fish and then leave it in like a vinegar, soy sauce, marinade also with some vegetables. So that's how we're gonna make it. And then we're also gonna grill a little bit of it as well to get the original flavor. But at first, we're gonna take the scales off. You wanna be careful when you scale them though, cause they got these spines right here on their dorsal fin. So just be extra careful. Right, we got all the scales off. All right, since they're really fresh, they still got a bunch of slime on them. So we're gonna use some salt to get this slime off. We're gonna be eating them with the skin on. So just take some salt 
you go back and forth and be careful about the spines like I was saying. Okay, next we're gonna gut them. So you're just gonna come from this hole right here. Just come up, just stay really shallow. All the way up. And you're gonna grab the gills right here on the top. Rip them and then pull. And all the guts will come out with them. Looks like this was a male. It was starting to make some sperm right here. All right, now same thing with this one. Come up from the belly. Open it up. Oh, looks like this one was a female. It's got some eggs right here. This time we're gonna cut the gills. You wanna cut them right there. Just pull like that. We're gonna take these eggs off. We're gonna eat these. Got quite a bit of fat. This is all like stomach fat right here. All right, now we're gonna clean out the belly. Got the swim bladder right here, fill with air. Take a knife and pop it. All right. Got the bellies nice and clean. All right, now let's fillet. Start off with this one. All right, so first, we're gonna take off the head. We're gonna come behind the collar like this. On this side, flip. Same thing on this side. And then once you reach the bone, you're gonna go right through it. All right, next, we're gonna come down the back like this. In the knife. We're gonna come down the back right along the dorsal fin. And flip, come on the belly. Then you're gonna go over the spine and follow it up. And then once you reach the ribs, you can try to go through them with the knife, but it can be kind of dangerous and you can mess up the fillet like which I just did right here. So we're gonna use some scissors. I'm gonna come like this. Okay. Got fillet number one of this large mouth bass. It smells good. Right. Come from the belly. We're gonna come along the back. Alright, fillet number two. You can use this middle bone for fish stock. Right, now let's take out the ribs. Now if y'all can see, it's got this this thing right here. This is fat, like fat, just straight up fat. And it's sometimes, like with a lot of fish, fat means flavor, but with bass, this fat right here is stinky, it stinks. So when you take out the ribs, it comes off with it. But if you're gonna eat like a bass whole, you're gonna wanna avoid this belly fat right here. But we're just gonna come right behind it. Just like this. All right, maybe we'll give this to the cats later. Same thing with this one, come behind the ribs. Just glide the knife. Right. Got the two fillets off the first fish. All right, now the second fish, same thing. I'm gonna do this one a little faster. Go to the bone. 
behind the back or along the back. Come from the belly. And cut like that. Filet number one. This one's a little bit better than the last filet. No mistakes here. Come from the belly. Come from the back. This would be good for fish stock. Next we're gonna come behind the ribs. Okay, now this filet. Okay, got all our filets of this largemouth bass. All right, next he's got a layer of pin bones going down the middle. You can feel them right here, and they go up to about right here. So you're gonna come from the gonna come from the side of them. There we go. Boneless bath fillet. Same thing with this one. Right, got all the bonus fillets. Now we're gonna cut them up into some chunks. All right, got all our pieces of this largemouth bass. Yo ho. Kyo no menu wa black bass da yo, black. Ah. Matte, 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 matte. Matte, matte, ほら, ほら, ほら. Oh, so na hayoku tabuta. Eh? ちょっと待って。ほら。ほら、ほら。これね、ブラックバスだよ。なんでそんな早く食べんのお前。早すぎ。ブラックバス。これだ。これスーパーで買ったんだけど、2回ぐらい釣ったことあるのよ。このブラックバスっていう魚。人生2回ぐらいかな。うん。ほら。いや、でも寒いな最近、ちょっと。暑かったり寒かったり暑かったり寒かったりってリズムだよねジョージアは今日はそれがとても綺麗だわね夕方夕方だよね今ねじゃあ今度は俺が釣れた場所をやるからなどうぞ right, next we're gonna make the nanban zuke sauce get a pot and put on medium heat we're gonna get get one cup of some georgia sink water Then we're gonna put some ding, some dashi. This is like fish stock that's used in a lot of Japanese food. We're gonna take a teaspoon or so, and put it in the water. Give it a good mix. And throw it in. 
All right, next we're gonna put three tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of sake. And three. Three tablespoons of sugar. And some rice vinegar. We're gonna put about half a cup. All right, we simmered it for a little bit. All right, this is our nambazuke sauce. All right, next, our vegetables. Got a carrot, onion, and ginger. Here first, the onion. All right, we're also gonna use my new cleaver knife I got to cut these onions. You wanna cut them thin. All right, next, the carrot. And you want to stack them up on top of each other. And you want to cut them like this. Last but not least, some ginger. The skin is edible, but we're gonna take it off. I like to leave it on if I'm making like soup or something. And cut this the same way as we did. Carrot. Then stack it up. Got all our vegetables ready. We're gonna get a wok. Medium heat. Gonna throw in some leftover canola oil. We're gonna take the large mouth bass, a plastic bag, and some cornstarch. Then we're gonna take the bass and throw them in. We're gonna save these two for the grill. And close it. Give it a good shake. Then we're gonna take the large mouth bass, throw it in the oil. All right, once they're nice and crispy, put them in here. All right, round two. On the other burner, we're gonna take the sauce. And heat it back up. All right, next we're gonna put in the vegetables. First, this ginger. Then the carrots. Then the onions. Then we're gonna put in the heated up sauce from before. Then we're gonna put on the top and refrigerate this for about an hour or so.
Make the fire. Alright, we got the largemouth bass and the eggs. We're gonna put some oil. This will help it not stick. Next, a little bit of salt. Alright, take the bass. Wow. Okay, let's eat. We got this largemouth bass, nanbanzuke, some grilled largemouth bass, salt grilled largemouth bass, and some salt grilled eggs. All right, first, let's start off with today's main, this nanbanzuke largemouth bass. All right, some of the veggies on top. All right, right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. That is really good. Yeah, the sauce is really good. It's sweet, but it also has the vinegar in it. So it's like a sweet sour. And you can taste the dashi broth as well. And the texture of the largemouth bass is really good. Nice meaty texture. Yeah, it has a really mild flavor. It doesn't have like a super strong flavor of the bass, but it absorbs these flavors really good. That's what the inside looks like. Mmm, delicious. All right, now let's try some of this, this grilled largemouth bass. Let's see what the original flavor is like. Um, yeah, super mild, super mild flavor. Good meaty texture, not really fishy. Yeah, it's it's very, very mild, so it, it kind of needs some flavoring. It's not something you just put salt on and you could eat. It's like, I mean, you can, but. Well, now I'm getting some, some umami. Probably because that was a big bite of the, the skin. It has that fat underneath it. But yeah, there's some umami there. Mm. Try a piece of the belly. Mmm, there it is. Yeah, the belly's got a lot of fat, and that, that was a mouthful of umami just now. That was very juicy. Good flavor. Mmm. All right, now let's try some of the eggs. Mmm, super good. Super good. I love fish eggs. Mmm. All right, now my friend Pierre's going to try some of it. You want to get some of the, oh, you want to get some of this on top and then you're good. Yeah, what happened? I thought I lost a piece to the floor. Mm. Are you ready? Oh. Dang. How's the sauce? Dude. Sauce is good, huh? It tastes like ginger, the ginger uh, salad. Tastes like ginger salt? Yeah, it's got the ginger and then it's got the vinegar. Oh, that's that's why, huh? Because mm -hmm. of the vinegar too. 
Ah. But it's also sweet too, right? Mm-hmm. Hit mark. And then this is large mouth bass. Mark hit the mark. Sheesh. Golly. What have you heard about large mouth bass? Like how it tastes? Gamey. Like uh, a little more fishy. Is that what you've heard? Or that's what you think? No, 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 that's what I've heard. Uh-huh. I'm here to testify it's not that gamey. Bro, try this right here. This is just straight nothing on it. This is so good. Dude, my, my chopstick skills are right. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Mm. Super mild, right? Like mild? It's mild, but it gives you a, um, it builds up like a oil. I mean, it's not from your cooking, because I know you didn't use a lot of oil. Yeah, so that was the belly, so that was, that was packing some fat. Mm -hmm. That's why that one was good. So, there you go. Answer on it is, tastes fatty, but tastes really damn good. Oh man, that garnish put in the right bump. Mm. See that? That's the American chopstick right there. Fingers. Woo! Yeah, that's something to praise. It's good cold too, right? This is after I marinated for a bit. It's better, bro. Mm. Mm. I forgot the rice. Golly. That's an experience. First time eating large mouth bass, right? Well, it is, but my mom told me I ate it when I was young. Oh, really? So I don't remember it, but when I taste it, I'm like, okay. Now I remember it. It might have been small mouth. Because I remember whoever did it, they caught it. And um, then we cooked it. And they caught like three or four. Yeah, it could have been either large mouth or small mouth. Whatever it was, it tasted a lot like this. Oh, remind but you? But the one it? I had, yeah, but the one I had was more fishy. So I think it was probably, probably small mess. Either know. that, this was also like farm raised. It's not like in the wild. All right, now, <sighs> have you ever had fish eggs before? I've had not one that big. Is this one fish egg? Yeah, just take like a, a bite. Like you, yeah, there you go. A little bite. mild right or is it a strong flavor nah don't let him fool you that's strong <laughs> don't let him fool you that's strong <laughs> <laughs> nah don't let him fool you on anything folks that is fish it's, it takes some getting used the to the only thing that's more fishy than this is octopus at a seafood buffet that was really fishy that was fishy yeah. but, but you could eat it though no yeah i liked it i like look folks i like fishy stuff Eating all the garnish. He didn't tell you, but the garnish is the best part. It gives it some mm -hmm. texture. And rice. He taking all the rice, all right? I, I, don't, I don't need no rice. I don't need no rice. Because I can't eat rice with the chopsticks. I'd look like a fool. Everybody make fun of me in the comments. All right, after finishing the meal. The geyser. Christa the geyser. Christa the nuts. Magica. <laughs> that was good. The large mouth bass nambanzuke. Served up cold. Since it is normally served cold, it's kind of like a, a summer, summer dish, but it still goes good in the winter as well. The flavor of the sauce is super good. The largemouth bass has a mild flavor. It soaks up all the flavor of the, of the marinade and it has really good texture. Definitely recommend it. Try it out. It's kind of expensive, $13 a pound for some fish. So next time I'm gonna try to catch some. Thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon and check out my merch. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.